I tell you the chance and yes, here it is, the Apple event, the one I've been waiting for, the one with the new Macs, the Apple Silicon Macs, and I'm excited, are you excited? The Mac is the king. So in this video, we're going to talk about the new Macs that are coming out, what to expect from them, and how I'm going to review it completely different to other people that are just going to use Geekbench and do these stupid tests and go, oh, it's faster than an Intel. No, you got to do it right. So if you want to do it, do it right, right, do it with me. So sub up, come on, join the Wu train. Anyway, Apple's earnings come out and guess what? Wolf, the Mac had a record quarter, nine billion dollars. It's biggest quarter ever. And thanks to Jason Snell, Mac World website in six colors. Here you can see a chart. It's its biggest quarter for the Mac. And the previous biggest quarter was 7.4 billion. So it's up nearly 30%. And a lot of people are saying, oh, that's because of COVID. Yes, COVID is one of the reasons. So outside of COVID, they're still expecting big growth with the Macs. And that may be due to the new Macs that are going to come out very soon, which we'll talk about at this new November 10 event. And that's when the event is, November 10. So I'm super excited. I'm going to slam these things. You're going to know how fast these things really are. And by the way, record quarter for Macs, it just shows you people don't give a toss about Apple Silicon. <laughs> I mean, they're not waiting for Apple Silicon. They're just, whatever, I need a computer now. I've got to buy it. Let's do it. And that's the way it should be. I still recommend if you want to buy a computer now, buy it. Intel Mac, it's going to be great for years. And then, yeah, by the time you need a new Mac, Apple Silicon will be mature. All the apps will work. There'll be no issues whatsoever. That's the way to go. But of course, I will be getting the Apple Silicon Mac as well. So record quarter up nearly 30%. Now it's more than the iPad, 7.4 billion for the iPad, which is interesting. We already talked about the event. And that's November 10th. I can't wait for that. But according to Mark Gurman, and I've actually been looking at some rumors from John Prostate, my God, I said it again. What is it? That's some Freudian shit. I keep on saying John Prostate. Maybe it's when I went in the hospital and I had back surgery and every nurse wanted to give me a prostate check and I, I thought that was strange. Why are they doing that when I got a sore back? Anyway, John Prostate, I've been looking at his rumours as well. But Mark Gurman, he's always right. And Mark Gurman is saying they are ramping up productions on a new MacBook and this should be an all new design and it will definitely be 100% Apple Silicon. And they're ramping up production on the MacBook Pro 13 and MacBook Pro 16. Both the MacBook Pro 13 and MacBook are going to be made by Foxconn and the MacBook Pro 16 going to be made by Quanta. Now the MacBook Pro 13 and 16 may have partial upgrades. So what that means is same chassis and according to rumors the choice between Intel and Apple Silicon. Now Mark Goman alludes to in this article that the MacBook Pro 13 and the MacBook are further along than the MacBook Pro 16. He's expecting the MacBook Pro 13 and the MacBook to be announced at this event and may Maybe the MacBook Pro 16. Maybe they have an Intel update now and maybe they give you the Apple Silicon one next year. Don't hold your breath for the MacBook Pro 16 at this event other than maybe just being an Intel refresh. The Apple Silicon one, probably not. Now we know these Apple Silicon Macs, they're going to be based on the A14, whether it's called A14X, A14Z, A14, 69, who friggin' knows? No one knows. But there have been rumors pointing to an 8-core, to a 12-core, whether that's GPU or CPU, we don't know. But one thing's for sure is there's going to be a lot of hardware acceleration involved with these Apple Silicon Macs. Now, I'm going to try and test outside the hardware acceleration because I want to know how fast these are just if I hit that CPU or GPU, not hitting it's like, you know, hardware acceleration like you know it's built-in encryption decoder it's built-in h.264 265 encoder it's built-in prores decoder and encoder of course i will test it in real world but i really want to see how these throttle down under full performance on the cpu and gpu outside of its hardware encoders of course i'm going to test the hardware encoders because you know for example the number one mac used for final cut is actually the macbook pro 15 and now obviously the 16 the number one mac that surprised me so more than the desktops more more than any other Mac, the MacBook Pro 13 or MacBook Air, whatever, the number one Mac used for Final Cut is a 15-inch MacBook Pro slash 16 now. So they know what it's used for, right? So what's going to happen is they're going to build in all this hardware acceleration for what they're used for. So of course that means HEVC, H.265, HDR, even with probably HDR 10-bit because they're doing that on the phones now with the Dolby Vision recording. I'll be very surprised if there isn't like a ProRes and ProRes RAW decoder and encoder built into the chip. Of course, there'll be an encryption hardware encoder. Suffice to say, there's just going to be so much built-in hardware acceleration. Now, 
Now, a lot of people call this fake performance. It's not really fake performance. I mean, you know, it's been done a million times before where you get a, you know, a laptop and it renders faster than like some beast workstation that's got 100 cores. And that's because it had like Intel QuickSync, right? And it was doing hardware acceleration. And it was beating these big workstations. People were like, well, how does that happen? But the thing is, nobody actually checks what the render quality is like. And even now on PCs with NVIDIA cards, they use the NVENC encoder now. So you get twice the performance in like H.264 exporting now in, say, Premiere Pro, just because they're using the NVENC encoder on the GPUs, NVIDIA GPUs. So that's where the performance is going to come from. From these Apple Silicon laptops. But I'm not going to just test that. I'm going to make sure I hit that GPU and CPU. And try and isolate it. Just to see if your outside hardware acceleration. How fast it is. So to sum it up. Two laptops probably going to be announced. 100% for sure. MacBook Pro 13. MacBook. They say $800 MacBook. If there is an $800 MacBook. RIP premium Ultrabooks PCs finished you're done why would you buy anything around that eight hundred dollar thousand dollar mark when you can get a macbook that you know is going to have premium display it's going to be premium build quality you know mac os runs really well you're going to have awesome performance you know the apple silicon will perform and you can run all ipad apps and i reckon if that happens if there is an eight hundred dollar macbook rip even the ipad too well the ipad won't die but i think it might diminish it's sort of standing there and you can see the max are you know they're more expensive but 9 billion versus 7.4 billion on the ipads i expect that gap to increase if there's going to be an 800 dollar macbook and the macbook pro it's going to be more expensive of course but i can't wait to see what happens let me know down there in the comments are you excited let's do it apple silicon baby catch you in the next one sally ho